<laughs> well, hello there, good people. Hi, I'm Jason from Green Country Agriforestry. It's Friday, the 12th of November, and we've already had our first frost, and tonight we're set to have a freeze, if you can believe the weather, man. They say it's going to get below freezing tonight. So, if you look behind me, I've got this pecan tree. It's experienced that first frost. The nuts have already started to come off of it, and as you can tell, in some places like here where we have the these uh, air printing pods set up, the leaves have already started to come off. It's been at least two months since we put those on, so we're going to go ahead real quick and find out if we got any root formation on these pods. Well, you might remember from a couple of months ago, I did a video entitled Cuttings Not Taking Root. Try this method instead. I'll put a link for it up over yonder somewhere. Pardon the wind. It's one of those days. I put a, out a few pods like this and uh, you can see how they, they did. A few of them wound up, let me get this down here, they wound up sliding down the branch. So I put a clip right ahead of the pod to keep them from sliding. And hopefully that did the trick. We'll see if these made any roots, and if they did, we'll have a brand new tree. Now we're going to put some rooting hormone up here, and uh, I'm just going to get some of our rooting hormone on my fingertip and get it worked around the lower portion here to encourage this, hopefully, maybe form some roots. Hopefully the presence of a bud being here will help encourage root formation as well, although I don't really know for certain that it will. But So we've got our, our pod full of peat moss. We've skinned a little bark on the tree. I'm going to go ahead and open up this flap here. Separate it into two separate halves. Right. And we're going to put that lovely spot right right there in the middle of the ball and close it up close it up tight just like so wow that heavy And to keep it closed, we'd use a, a bread tie, cable tie, baling wire, baling twine, whatever I happen to have handy. It came with these little cable ties, so I'm going to go ahead and use them. There we go. So there's a little notch there for me to go into. Let's tighten it up. Okay, folks, there we go. There is our first attempt to air layer a pecan tree using the reusable, recycled, black plastic air layering pods. I purchased these off of Amazon. You can get them for around a dollar a piece, and uh, we'll see how well they work. They do appear to be quite sturdy and capable of doing the job. So far, I like them. Uh, we'll see how well the pecan tree likes them, and uh, we'll update you on that later. Three. Well, all right. A couple of months back, whenever we started using these air layering pods to try to clone our Wichita cultivar pecan trees, uh, this was the first one I set up. It's either this one or this one was the first one I set up. I think it was this one. But we'll go ahead and open this one up first. Take that clip off the end. That clip, I discovered, very important. It keeps the pod from sliding down. If you've got this kind of hanging at an angle, the pod will slide. And if it does, it'll expose the spot that you cut. And if that, if that happens, then the branch will just die and you won't get anything. So hopefully I caught this one in time and was able to make that remedy. I'm just going to take my pruning shears and clip off those cable ties. Of course, always remember to clean up your mess after you're done here. I think in the future I might start using a little bit of wire. I can wrap wire and reuse wire. The 
this is like Christmas. Hopefully I've been good. I don't want to get a lump of coal. Okay, here we go. We got a little ball of the peat moss. And inside we have, look at that. Well, first thing I notice here, uh, first thing I notice here was we've got uh, one of those webworms has decided they wanted to, to try to hibernate there. I guess I thought it was looking at a regular tree. And here we have the callusing here at the base and the beginnings of root formation. So we are making roots, but they're not fully developed yet. So next year you're going to first start when the trees um, start to plant leaves? Uh, yeah, I think next year I'll try this beginning in May and give them at least three months. June, July, August, yes. Maybe a little bit later. June, July, August, September. I know. October. We're in November now. So I could give them I could give them four or five months if I started if I started mid June. Okay, well now we're back here at the air prune bed where we've had some success getting cuttings started. Things like uh, these peppermint here, of course, root really well from the cuttings. Some of these alders seem to have rooted with the cuttings. Uh, rosemary from cuttings. The willow did really well. I've got this black pussy willow here that's doing really good. Started up from cuttings. Uh, and then, of course, we got one pecan tree already. This is a seedling pecan. Of course, being a seedling, that means it's got the genetics, genetic mixture from both this mother and father tree. But we've got this partially rooted cutting here. We're just going to push down into the ground, firm up the soil around it, and let it continue. Do the same with this. All right, and so there we have it. Can you get your R2 root cuttings from things like pecan trees or some of the fruit trees out there that are particularly hard to get started for cuttings? Can you get them started using an air layering pod or some other similar method and a little bit of rooting hormone? Well, as you just saw, my success rate has been 100%, although I would say that you need more than two months for the process for the pecan trees. I would give them at least three or four. So we're going to allow them to continue to finish off their rooting process here in the air layering bed. And when they come out of dormancy in the spring, they'll continue to grow down, put their roots down so they hit that wire cloth at the bottom, at which point the roots will be air pruned. And they'll have good, strong, sturdy root systems. And any of those that manage to make it all the way until next fall, when they get dormant again, will be up for sale on the website. And good people, that's all I've got for you today. As always, if you found the video informative or entertaining, well, you know what to do. I'll catch you next time. That's an air pruning bed. This is air layering, that's air pruning. Right, that's what I thought. Air layering, air layering. You called it an air layering bed. Air pruning, pruning, pruning. Okay.